And while I was working on some lower thirds and animations here in After Effects, I wanted to do this cool, you know, customized handwritten signature animation. Honestly, it's pretty straightforward, but you might not think about it, so let's jump into After Effects. So I started by writing your name on a piece of paper, you know, just get a signature that you kind of like. Uh, I also have some other stuff here, but we don't care about it. Let's create a new composition. I'm setting it to 1920 by 1080, but it's more than enough resolution than what we're gonna need now. Let's set the duration to 100 frames at uh, 25 FPS. And uh, let's drop our signature in here. Something like that. And then let's mask out our signature, because that's the only part that we need. To separate the signature from this white paper, I use the Luma key effect. Let's set the key type to key out brighter and just adjust the threshold and these other parameters until we get a kind of clean matte. To further clean up our matte, we can use the refine hard matte effect. Just play around with the settings a little bit. To give the signature a uniform color, you can use the fill effect, but in this case, I think mine is already clean enough and I like it that it's a little bit more organic and not as digital, so I'm not going to use this effect now. Let's start animating. By clicking on the pen tool, let's create a new shape layer and set the stroke width so it covers our text. And by creating some new shapes under our shape layer, let's go through our signature in the same order and direction as you normally would write it with your hand. To animate it, let's create a new trim path effector Change the trim path shapes from simultaneously to individually. And by animating these start and end values, you can get this writing effect. But first we have to order our shape layers from top to bottom. So the animation is happening in the right order. Now let's keyframe our ending parameter from zero to hundred percent. Now you can adjust the timing of the keyframes a little bit. Now you can basically use this shape layer as your final animation if you fine tune it a little bit. But what I'm going to do now is use this as a track mat for our original image. So let's set this shape layer as a track mat for our signature. Add some motion blur on the shape layer so the ending of our line is a little bit smoother. And in this part you might have to go back a little bit and adjust your shape until you get a good enough result. So that was this effect. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.